DRC's formalization comes a long way with the mayor indicating that the process had many challenges. With all the challenges that we have been facing and all the words that's been exchanged with regard to us going to dump people on the other side, as you can see, that we are here now showing you what the truth is. We are sharing with you and you are here to witness the truth. Meanwhile, residents have welcomed the news, saying it is a long overdue project which would give them some dignity and security. What? Johannes Kushonya, who originally hails from the Kavango East region, migrated to Swakopmund for a better life. But due to a lack of affordable formal housing, circumstances forced Kushonya to collect flammable materials to build a shack that he calls home. When the temperature drops, his makeshift house gets too cold to live in. Just like many other structures here, there is no electricity, portable water, and toilet facilities. People, they, they just go in the, in the desert where they can help themselves. So even the fresh water, they are struggling. Some of them, they just go a, a kilo to face the water. This consequently led to the repeated protests by the residents as they felt that formalization was too slow. Municipality recently requested some residents to move from the land they are occupying, but the residents feared that this is a ploy to evict them and move them to an area behind the rubbish dump. They also feared that the land would be serviced and then sold to businesses for a profit. As I'm speaking, I'm saying in the RC. So I cannot allow the council to decide the people to go in the dump site. Well, I'm staying in the RC. That is a true rum rumors. It cannot happen. So what will happen is all the people will be shifted. Those who are affected by the pipe. If the pipe bulb water is through in your, in your shake, you must be shifted. Now that the formalization contract has been signed, Kushonya is appealing to the town council to allocate a big chunk of the mass housing project budget to the development of the DRC.